Mateus de Ligt's transfer is going to be one of the stories of the summer. And for Manchester United fans, it's got that all too familiar feeling from recent years of a top class player being linked with a move to United only to then move elsewhere. Will it be different with de Ligt? Now, we've all sort of conceded the fact that Barcelona are favourites to sign him this summer, but the United rumours just won't go away. And they've been given a new lease of life thanks to another article from The Telegraph's Luke Edwards offering another bit of information on the situation. Let's run through that together and also some comments from De Ligt himself on what he wants this summer. Before we do get started, if you are new to United People's TV, go down there, hit that subscribe button, get involved if you're a regular, drop a like on the video, but let's get straight into this one. So what is the update and where is it coming from? As I said, it's coming from Luke Edwards from The Telegraph. And he's writing that United have been told to expect a decision on De Ligt in the next few days. And although United sources have been privately briefing that Barcelona have agreed a deal for the 19-year-old, it hasn't stopped them in their advances for signing him this summer. Now, De Ligt is away on international duty with Netherlands at the moment. On the 6th of June, he plays England and on the 9th of June, he plays Germany. So I'd be a little bit surprised to hear any sort of confirmation before he comes back from that. But maybe I'm wrong and maybe we will. But the thing I'm taking away from this point is the idea that maybe United are playing a bit of a transfer game. A bit of smoke and mirrors. The idea that they're privately briefing to some journalists that ah, we conceded the fact that De Ligt was going to Barcelona months ago. Whilst on the other hand, trying with Mineraiola to negotiate a move to Old Trafford. It's very much what happens in the transfer game, which is that in previous years, United haven't been smart enough to be involved in it. We've just watched other clubs do it. But maybe we're learning from our lessons and we're actually doing stuff like this this summer. It's such an important transfer window for the club. I hope so anyway. And Luke Edwards is a journalist with a strong reputation, so he wouldn't put his name to any old nonsense. And that point is worth considering. But the next point that's raised in it is a very interesting one indeed. Edwards goes on to explain that there is a view in Holland that United is the better option for De Ligt and that his sole motivation since arriving at the Ajax Academy from the age of six was to go on and become the world's best defender. That is what has driven him so far in his young career. Now for me, this is one of two major questions around De Ligt's transfer. Is United actually the better option? For winning trophies next season, absolutely not. No United fan will try and say that it is. Liverpool's better, City's better. Out in Spain, Barcelona's better. Pretty much anybody else is better than United next year for winning trophies. But for a central role, a starring role, in a rebuild of a major footballing institution, United can be considered a real choice. And that's the reason why these rumours haven't gone away. But it all depends on what De Ligt wants, which we'll get into later on. But is this actually the view in Holland? As I said um, earlier this week, the Dutch press are staying relatively quiet on this. They're letting the Spanish press and the English press sort of take the lead. That tells me that maybe the Ligt's camp is not saying much to the Dutch press. In that sense, it must all be Mina Raiola. And maybe this is just him playing his transfer game, making Barcelona and United do an invisible tug of war over De Ligt whilst he rubs his hands together and rakes in a bigger bit of commission. That could be ultimately what is going on here. And I hope it isn't the case. It has been the case previously with other players, but I don't want it to be the case with De Ligt. I really don't. But you can't ignore that that is a genuine possibility. The next point that Edwards goes on to discuss is for me the crux of this whole situation with De Ligt. He goes on to say that sources close to De Ligt have indicated that the idea of a major rebuilding project at United is something that appeals to him in the same way as when he became Ajax captain a couple of years ago, prior to them winning the league and get into the Champions League semi-final. As I've said, this is the point I've been making the whole way through. If De Ligt wants a central starring role, he'll be the poster boy of United. We'll build a team around him. He'll be the captain, probably. I mean, we wouldn't have a better option anyway, certainly. That's what De Ligt is, he's a leader. He's a captain, that's what he's been at Ajax, that's what he wants to be. He wouldn't get that at Barcelona. At Barcelona, he'd be like, Barcelona's Hollywood. But Lionel Messi's the biggest paid actor in Hollywood. You're in his film. At United, he'd be the lead actor instead of being just a you know, supporting actor over in Messi's show. Now, if he's a real, a proper leader and that's his main drive, he won't want to go and sit alongside Gerard Piquet until he retires. He'll want that central figure role right now. And that's why I can't 
Just push these to one side, these rumours. I said it was a four out of 10 that it could happen. That's what I gave it in my rumour rater. But that four is all around this idea that maybe this leadership role is the most important thing for De Ligt. And that's again, that's being reiterated with Luke Edwards quoting sources close to De Ligt himself. Maybe that's Raiola again, maybe not. But nobody other than De Ligt himself knows what is more important for him this summer, which makes his latest quotes all the more interesting. He said, I'm very excited for what could be coming in the near future, but I'm calm too. I see it as a challenge. That's the most important thing. There are various options. What I'm doing is looking for the best option. Now, what is the challenge that De Ligt wants? Is it the challenge of rebuilding United, getting us back to Champions League finals, to Premier Leagues? Or is it the challenge of going to Barcelona and stopping Real Madrid's resurgence under Zidane and stopping Barcelona choking? in Champions League semi-finals, or knockout stages anyway. That's the, they're the two main options for De Ligt. Which one appeals to him at this point in his career more? That's the question that we can't answer, that we have to sort of just put all the pieces together and make our own assumptions. And I suppose that's what makes the transfer game so frustrating, but it is what it is. Edwards also goes on to discuss how the Premier League is a much more physical league and how that would help De Ligt in his development into becoming what he wants to be as the world's best central defender. And, you know, it is. The Premier League is an incredible place to be right now. You look at the two European finals, Liverpool against Spurs in the Champions League, Arsenal against Chelsea in the Europa League, all English European finals. Has the sort of the cycle of Spanish dominance in Europe, has that, has that now passed? Has it now gone back to England? Maybe. And maybe the Premier League is the place to be. But remember, De Ligt is 19. He could spend four or five years at United then go and spend four or five years at Barcelona and he still wouldn't be 30. He's got his whole career ahead of him. It doesn't just have to be trophies, trophies, trophies tomorrow. Well, that's what I'm hoping he's saying anyway. And if you're watching, Mateus, it really doesn't. Just tell me an eye, mate. It's the right choice. But anyway, back to what Luke Edwards is saying. And the idea that United are telling De Ligt will build the team and the defence around you. That's not just lip service. Because we genuinely would, if Delict came in, we'd build, he'd be the part of that spine that we need, that we desperately need in this team. Yes, it would be what he wanted to hear, but it would be the truth as well. If Delict comes in, he would be the central figure, the poster boy, the leader, the captain, anything you want, all at 19, at United, one of the world's biggest footballing clubs. There's plenty of romance to the story. Yes, we're shit in comparison at the moment to Liverpool and City, but a few years ago, Liverpool were terrible. And look what's happened to them. The same thing could happen to United. Football works in cycles. And United have had a six-year bad cycle. I think we're an up. And maybe De Ligt can be part of that. That's the allure. That's the attraction. That's why these rumours won't go away. Look, this could all be a ploy by Mino Raiola to use United's name to get him more money with Barcelona. We know that could be the case. Just like Sergio Ramos a few years ago, Real Madrid... He ended up signing a new deal. Could the same thing happen with De Ligt? Absolutely. Will it happen? There's a possibility. But in the same vein, United don't seem to be out of the race for De Ligt just yet. I still consider Barcelona favourites. But as I said, I gave it a 4 out of 10 chance that De Ligt could join. And for me, it all rests on what he sees as the priority next season. From what everything he says and the way he seems to present himself, he is that leader. I don't think he would then want to become under a sub-captain, a vice-captain underneath PK at Barcelona. Is that what he would want at this point in his career? I don't know. And I'm a United fan, so of course I'm going to see this with red-tinted specs. But the United project clearly is a lure. Whether it's a strong enough lure, we'll find out. But according to these latest reports, United are certainly in for delict and making it clear to his camp that if he does join this team will be built around him. Do you think that is enough to lure him to Old Trafford? Or do you think all of this is bollocks? You're wasting your time. I'm wasting my time. He's already gone to Barcelona. Let me know what you think in the comments. But this one's going to rumble on. And hopefully it ends with Delict in the United shirt. Fingers crossed.